Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new tips. In this tip, I want to talk about keeping our head behind the ball in our downswing and how that affects your swing path. So I thought about this a little while ago and uh, finally got around to shooting it for you. So hopefully it will become crystal clear how staying behind the ball allows you to attack the golf ball slightly from the inside. So to do this uh, little tip here, what you need is an alignment stick. So we've got our alignment stick right here. Okay, so you want an alignment stick. My golf club is just slightly inside that stick. Now, basically what I'm doing here, I'm going to go to the top like this. I'm going to take my head. I'm going to move my head forward ahead of the ball. So my whole body is angled like this. Now as I do that, I'm looking at the stick and the path the golf club is making from here. See right there with the stick, I see the blur of the golf club. I'm seeing it blur over the top. It's pretty crystal clear because the club makes a blur every time it swings by. Now I'm going to take my head, I'm going to move it over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep my head there and I'm going to watch for that blur. Now the club is attacking inside out. Okay, so that my, is changing the path of the club. My head, from taking it from here to here, totally changed the path. Now, ideally, we want the club swinging slightly from the inside to square to inside. So it's an arc. It swings on that arc. To get that, our head has to be slightly behind the ball as we hit the ball. So what we're doing is we're trying to stop any kind of over the top, you know, pulls, pull slices, uh, pull hooks. So to do that, to hit those shots, you would be hitting with arms, that leans you forward, now the club swings over the top. Oh, you would see the blur of the club blurring over the top. Now to get rid of that, we're going to stay back here, and you can see the blur is more out. This is too much, but at least that's attacking from the inside. All right, so. We're going to do that just manually. Now, I get the tilt because I fire my lower body, you know, fast. And in doing that, that keeps me behind the ball as I hit the ball. So I know you're not as experienced as I am. So if we've got a manual way we can kind of stay behind the ball, then I would want you doing that to get rid of this over the top golf swing. So to do that, we have to kind of overdo the inside out for a little bit. Now, if you do that, you may run the risk of hitting the ground behind the ball, and you may run the risk of hitting pushes and push fades, maybe even, you know, if you rolled it over, duck hook. So if you get to that point where you have kind of changed the path from over the top to slightly inside, and we want to fix these uh, flaws that we have, all you have to do is then add a little more rotation. That's our touch the legs position. If you start to touch your legs, you won't tilt as much, and now you'll stop hitting the ground behind the ball, and you'll stop hitting pushes and push fades. You'll hit the ball right down the middle. All right, so what you need to do is have the alignment stick. Actually, I'm going to have uh, my cameraman, Steve, he's going to come over here, and I'll show you exactly from this angle what's happening here. So you've got your club like this and you've got the stick. We're looking for the blur of the club. So if I go like this up to the top, now I take my head and I move it ahead of the ball. See the blur? The blur, I'm watching it blur right there. It's blurring over the top. I can see it 
relative to that stick right there. Now if I go like this and bring my head back here, my club blurs out that way. That would be inside out. The only way you're going to get that is if your head is back here. Now, again, that's too much. But versus doing this, at least we're now attacking slightly or from the inside. Like I said, you may hit some fat shots and pushes and push fades because the path is too much. So if you see those flaws, that's okay. We're going to fix it by touching our legs. Okay, so we're up here. We're going to think touch the legs. When we do that, we will turn more, which will stop us from over tilting. And now the club will swing from slightly from the inside to square to inside on this slight arc right here. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. You take out a stick, the alignment stick. Watch for the blur. Okay, you'll see if you're <laughs> leaning forward, you will see the blur over the top. So how are we gonna fix that? Well, you know, like I said, I fire my lower body, you know, kind of quick. That keeps me behind it. You know, this is a, just an easy way to kind of manually fix that. We're gonna feel our head back here as we swing. Keep it here and you will see the path change. It might be a little too much at first, but at least you're changing the path. Then you go back to the touch the legs position and then you'll be perfectly down the line. All right, so hopefully you understand it. Just an easy way to see what swing path you're uh, swinging on and how to take it from over the top to slightly from the inside. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now for over 25 years. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. I'll send you some free samples of my book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples or click the link in or below this video and I'll send you the free samples right away.